Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss about the MOSFET circuit analysis. We will be looking at the common circuit configuration where a MOSFET is used as a load controller. In this case, a simple light is represented as a resistor R1 and we will learn how to calculate the drain current ID and drain to source voltage VDS and power dissipation across the resistor R1 when VGS is high and we will discover the why it is crucial to figure out the if the MOSFET is in linear or saturation region. Let us get started. Here is the circuit we will be analyzing. Here we have 10 volt power supply we are considering as a VDD and 6 ohm load register as a R1 representing our light. And N channel MOSFET 2N7002 acting as a switch. Input signal V1 will be the pulse that goes from 0 to 5 volt. And uh, we are also given MOSFET threshold voltage VGS TH is equal to 2.5 volt. And transconductant parameters K will be the 80 milli Siemens. Our goal is to find out the ID and the VDS and the power dissipation across the resistor R1 when V1 is high. First we need to find the gate to source voltage VGS when V1 is equal to 5 volt. This is determined by the simple voltage divider formed by R in and RGS. By using the voltage divider formula, the VGS is equal to RGS divided by R in plus RGS into V1. So if we plug the value, VGS is equal to 5.1 kilo ohm divided by 5.1 kilo ohm plus 10 kilo into 5 volt which we simplify we will get 3.31 volt since VGS is greater than threshold voltage 2.5 volt we know that MOSFET is turn on now to calculate the ID and VDS we need to know which region the MOSFET is going to operate let us initially assume it is in the linear or uh, triode region. In this region, the current uh, drain current ID is given by K into VGS minus VDH into VDS minus half of the VDS square. And also we have Kirchhoff voltage law KVL across the output terminal of the MOSFET which is equal to VDD then VDD equal to ID into R1 plus VDS. We can now substitute the ID equation into KVL equation and plug in our noun value. This gives us VDD is equal to ID value into R1 plus VDS. Let us plug the noun value. So VDD is equal to 5 volt equal to 80 millisiemens into 3.31 volt minus VGS TH will be 2.5 volt into VDS minus 0 0.5 into VDS square into 6 ohm plus VDS. If we simplify this term we will get 0 0.24 into VDS square minus 1.338 into VDS plus 10 equal to 0. This gives us quadratic equation in terms of VDS. 
solving this quadratic equation we get two possible solution for the vds approximately equal to 4.15 volt and uh, vds equal to 1.64 volt in the linear region we typically expect a smaller value of vds so we will choose the vds as 1.64 volt and uh, Using this, we can calculate uh, drain current ID is approximately equal to 1.39 amps. But wait, we need to verify our initial assumption that uh, MOSFET is in linear region. The condition for the linear region is that VDS must be less than VGS minus VGS TH. Let us check. Our VGS is equal to 3.31 volt minus 2.5 volt which is equal to 0 0.81 volt as per our previous calculation our vds will be 1.64 volt and uh, in the linear region the vgs minus vth will be 0 0.81 volt so that in this condition our vds is uh, greater than the vgs now the condition is false so then we can conclude that the MOSFET is not working in linear region. This means that our initial assumption is incorrect. The MOSFET actually operating in the saturation region, not in the linear region. In the saturation region, the drain current is given by half of transconductance into VGS minus VDH whole square. If you plug this value into our equation, we will get 0 0.5 into 80 millisiemens into VGS 3.31 volt minus 2.5 volt whole square. And we will simplify this, we will get approximately 26.9 milliamps. Now we can calculate the VD and which is equal to VDS in the saturation region and uh, which is equal to VDD minus ID into R1 which is so the 10 volt minus 26.9 9 milliamps into 6 ohm which is approximately equal to 9.84 volt. Let us verify that the MOSFET is indeed in saturation. For the saturation the VDS is greater than VGS minus VTH. We already know that uh, VGS minus VTH is equal to 0.81 volt and is our VDS is equal to 9.84 volt and which is greater than the VGS minus VTH. This confirm as the MOSFET is in saturation. Finally, let's calculate the power dissipation across the resistor R1 using the formula P is equal to ID square into R1. So we'll plug the value into the current equation. The ID is equal to 26.9 milliamps the whole square into 6 ohm we will get approximately 4.34 milliwatt so what does this all means even though our input is high the MOSFET is not fully on like closer switch it is in saturation acting more or less the current limit this is the way we have the relatively small current about 26.9 milliamps and large voltage drop across the transistor about 9.84 volt consequently the power dissipation by the light is very small to make the light brighter we need to increase the vgs adjust the component value or choose the mosfet with a lower threshold voltage to push into the linear region that's how we have analyzed the mosfet circuit i hope this step by step uh, explanation is very helpful if you have any question feel free to leave them in the comment 
below. 